Hi, my name is Agnes Thompson. I'm a grass, um, grassroots leader, leader and local champion in the KGO Park area, Kingston Galloway Otten Park. I've been doing this for seven years. I am very happy to be in that community, to be able to serve that community. My name is Dave Manor. I've been a grassroots leader for the last two or three years, but I've been in the community as an independent leader for about 35 years. Every Thursday at this forefront, we have food coming in, cooked food coming in, and we serve that on Thursday. We usually, sometimes, sometimes we get um, vegetable boxes. Sometimes there is times when I cooked personally, myself and other, and, um, Dave and other community members, they helped in cooking and we serve, we serve as much as we could. We're thankful for the East Cabral storefront that, that supports us. And then we have a few people outside who do who donate funds towards the, the um towards needs of uh, of um of the community. But it's still not enough. It, it's it's really it's really hard because People phone us every time. Is the are we gonna be serving food today? Are we gonna be giving? And we we all say no to, to the community. It's really really hard. So we wish we could do more, but because of um, because of lack of funding, it it, it makes it really hard for us. Just listening to people every day and their needs, and the all about the food security. Uh, the shortage of food in the area and the, um, uh, the supply of food as far as uh, seniors, uh, homeless people. So uh, not only in this time, but all the time, mainly uh, during COVID because they're, they're sheltered right now, they can't go out and they can't uh, obtain food or maybe they have difficulty. Um, so therefore, I felt that great need um, that to go out there and do it and get this job done. Yes, Dave, what is meaningful to you in doing what you do? We're, we're doing some good work in the community um, with the help of the resources that we have. Even though we're looking for more resources, um, it just gives me a great feeling that we're doing something special at this time for all the community and not for ourselves. Um, we can do more and we will do more um, if we find the resort, the right resources and the right people to support us, we will make the difference. What is meaningful to you about this work we are doing? When people send you by email or text and say, Agnes, thank you for what you're doing. I enjoy the food and I re really appreciate it. Getting that feedback from them means a lot to me. So if I have a little, I, will, I always want to share. So for me, reaching out to feed, to feed the people who are most need is one of the, the most joyful thing for me. Why do you think grassroots leaders are important in times of crisis? I feel grassroots leaders are the link between the, the, the organization, the, the residents in the community and the government. So it, it, it's a three-way three thing. The grassroots leaders is the one um, that that working on behalf of the resident in the community. So we are sitting in the center and 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 the the organization and the resident, and the, the, the organ we take from the resident go back to the community to the to the organization. The organization take to the government. So this is how I feel. The work that we the, as grassroots leader is very important in our community because we are the one who. Who, who stand up and we are the one, the, the rest 
president know and see every day in their eyes. And we are the ones that they come to, they will come, they will trust to come to us more than the organization. Dave, why do you think grassroots leaders are important in the community? Because we're out there on the ground, working on the ground uh, with the residents and with the neighbors and our friends and people out there every day uh, to see what their needs are and um, trying to, to get support from the agencies which are closed, open but closed right now. Uh, we're making sure that, that there actually is somebody out there, right? These people are looking for people that like us, we're the middleman and yeah. we, we need the middleman uh, to, to do the work and they're looking up to us. So they're waiting for us every week. If we tell them Thursday at three o'clock, they're lined up at three o'clock. Uh, all these agencies were working, trying to work together to, to get the uh, food to our people. And um, as grassroots, that's why we're here. I am feeling like we are, we are not, no longer exist as a community because before this pandemic, we, ha we had communication with everyone, with our MP or MPP, with City Hall. We had strong communication with these people. And from since the pandemic, I cannot say that I see anyone or hear anyone reach out to the KGO Kingston Galloway Autumn Park area, the resident, or the grassroots leaders like myself, Dave, and the whole to say, okay, what are your needs? What do you need? We hoping that someone will listen to us and hear that our community have a hunger need and the people in our community are seniors and low income people and people who are not employed and we really want them to hear us and to reach out to us. My message is, um, is very clear that that um, we're hoping that the agencies or the city or the members of parliament listen to our concerns and um, help us find a way to uh, feed these people, Good these needy people in our area. And um, I'm sure if uh, somebody hears it, um, something can be done. There's always um, somebody listening out there. And um, I, I know the storefront and uh, how strong we are there with this storefront and um, how our residents and our leaders are very strong in this community. And um, I know that uh, if this gets out, um, I know there have been people uh, uh, looking forward to helping us.